Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, we're going to try to figure out what the heck is going on with this Ray Star Wars movie that was announced and then it's been apparently pushed back and there are rumors that it's not going to happen, that the script isn't even done. And apparently the Mandalorian movie, the baby Yoda movie is going to come out before the Ray movie. And now they're like, oh no, there's a Ray movie coming on. It's just like Ryan Johnson's trilogy, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's coming on. Well, he still says it's coming, but yeah. Someday, someday you will get your trilogy, Ryan Johnson. Um, no. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think Disney's taking a good hard look at everything because they have to because they've been burning money and they're like, yeah, this one, you know, um, how popular is Ray, guys? Oh, yeah. Ray's real popular. Mm -hmm. She's real popular that you can uh, still find Ray action figures from five to eight years ago. Actually, no, we're going back to 2015 now. We're talking damn near a decade. Well, that's the last Jedi ones, though. Last Jedi ones are about eight years. Good um, news, though. If you really wanted one of these, you can still get them. You can still get them for cheap at Ollie's Discount Bargain Bin, the place where, uh, that's not what it's actually called, but Ollie's Discount Store, uh, whatever it is, Bargain Outlet. And uh, Good yeah, bargain outlet. they've got... <laughs> They've got tons and tons and tons of Disney Star Wars stuff just rotting on the shelves. The Ray action figures in particular have been there for years and they're cheap and nobody wants them. You can't give them away. Uh, such a popular character. I can't imagine there being like rows and rows and rows of Darth Vader's or Luke Skywalker's or anything like that. But uh, yeah, they're gonna make a Ray movie probably to sell this unsold crap. So let's... Uh, Let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, get woohoo if you do. Woo uh, go out to piratesandprincesses.net. That's where this article comes from. Mike Phelan uh, put this together. And yeah, so we heard the initial rumor was the Ray movie was going to be delayed indefinitely. Okay. Yes. And then after that rumor started circulating on the internet, uh, oh, oh, we have to do some damage control. No, guys, it's going to happen. So the original rumor, and this is one that was uh, making the rounds for a couple of days, was uh, the Ray Star Wars movie was delayed indefinitely. This uh, this version is coming from uh, World of Real. It said, we don't know much about the movie except for the controversial remarks the filmmaker made. That was uh, Charmaine Obeyed Chinoy's mm -hmm. comments about uh, men. Uh, what was it? Uh, she wanted to make men angry or something. Uncomfortable. With her, uncomfortable with her movie. Yeah, that's not a good, that's not a good thing to say when you're dealing with a predominantly male uh, it's not sexist franchise. to say that. That's just factual. There's yeah. a lot of women who like it too, but it's predominantly male. That's just that's just the truth. So World of Real says, I've been told that Disney has delayed the film indefinitely, which is why they surprised everyone last week when they decided to announce The Mandalorian and Grogu as the next Star Wars movie. They just don't have confidence that the Rey movie, New Jedi Order, will be happening in the near future. I, I don't think they have confidence in the character and marketability of Rey. I don't think they have confidence in... Uh, the director of the movie, and there's supposedly a bunch of drama with the screenplay. Too. Right. So the the screenwriter Stephen Knight apparently um, had a draft done, and then the film didn't. You know, so many notes he had to start all over again. Was allegedly the story, but he has to put the back burner because he has to finish the Peaky Blinders movie script that Peaky he was supposed Blinders. to do. Um, but they said that he might, he's ready to walk according to the rumor. I don't know if it's true. That's what they're they're, they're saying. But he. Um, he was doing this after the fact they got rid of um, Damon Lindelof. Remember, we talked about how he was going to do this. Oh, yeah. And that Justin yeah. Britt Gibson, um, they exited the, the Ray Skywalker movie. And then he came on board. And now he's apparently ready to go. Yeah. Because he's, he's had it with these people. Well, that was like Allegedly. Episode... This is all the rumors. Well, I can believe it, though. Because look at look at what happened with Solo. Look at what happened with uh, Episode 9. You know, the version. should have been written by now. It yeah you can't film something in April if you don't even have a first draft. It should have been I considering mean, how he you know the night come two years after the development of the film started and we had the Damon Lindelof but he left a while ago by now and it sounds like he tried to have it done but they don't like it and he has to start all over again and so we're going back to the creative difference of the bullshit that we are that Lucasfilm and Kathleen Kennedy are known for. Yeah, it's true. They keep announcing things they never happen. Uh, a lot of times it's because KK's you know. Demanding She's, bullshit. Yes. I, I think she is incredibly difficult to work with and or for. I think she wants to be in control of everything. And we've seen what happened to Disney Star Wars under her uh, iron thumb. And, uh, you know, she puts a chick in it. She makes it gay. She makes it lame. And it fails the box office time and time and time again. A Ray movie with a feminist director 
is not a good financial Mm-mm. uh uh decision. Let's, no. just, let's just put it that way. Given given how unpopular the character actually is. Uh, plus, you're going to piss off the Raylos because you have the Raylos, but then Ab Driver said there's no way in hell he's coming back. He's not coming back. Well, he's dead anyway. Oh, spoiler. Spoiler. <laughs> so then, apparently, after this rumor start going around, here comes Screen Rant with, no, 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 it's still going on. Yeah, well, yeah. Even the, other, even the other stories didn't say it wasn't going on. It just said it was delayed indefinitely. It didn't say it wasn't happening at all. It just said it was delayed because the, the script writer, screenwriter, hasn't uh, gotten it done yet because he has to do something else first, and now he has to start all over again because of the demands from Lucasfilm. They never said it was completely uh, not happening ever. That's not what they said. Yeah. So this is, um, so Screen Rant had it. The original version was out on uh, Gizmodo. It's titled, no, Ray's Star Wars movie hasn't been delayed. Rumors about Charmaine obeyed Chinoy's Daisy Ridley starring Star Wars movie are inaccurate. Well, it sounds delayed to me. Yeah. They said that uh, it's been delayed indefinitely. The reason creative differences with Stephen Knight. That's not true. According to Lucasfilm. Right, because, you know, believe everything they say. A source of the company told io9 the report is inaccurate and Knight continues to write and be a part of the process. Well, no one said he wasn't writing it. They didn't say that. They said he was writing it. They said the process is making him start all over again and he's getting pissed. That's the rumor. They never said that he wasn't doing it anymore. There are movies that are in development hell for decades. And in fact, decades. the company is waiting for his last, their latest draft as you read this. Yes, which is what they said. They said that basically kept giving him notes and it's so many notes that he's having to start all over again. Um, but nothing that they're saying here con- contradicts what was said on the other article, though, the other rumor. I, honest to God, I think what's going to happen, I think with Disney tightening their belts and they're taking a good hard look at everything they're doing, I think they're going to look at this and be like, how do we tell our shareholders that we're going to gamble on Ray again when everybody knows the sequel trilogy was declining returns? Well, the sequel trilogy was, you could you can trace back the Star Wars fandom being like, you know, divided and which you know bank, you know, cost a lot of, uh, of money to the toy sales and everything else yeah. with... This Disney sequel trilogy, especially The Last Jedi. Again, go to any Ollie's bargain outlet. You will find piles of Ray action figures. The Last Jedi. <laughs> the Last Jedi. And even The Force Awakens, the one I was to, they still had Force Awakens Ray figures. It was all Ray. Like all the weird aliens, the weird, they were on the screen for like three seconds. Yeah, they were all sold. Didn't they have some holdos too? They had a couple of holdos, a couple of like the six inch holdos because she's super popular too. Mm-hmm. You know, but uh, they made a lot of Ray figures and nobody wants her. She is not Luke Skywalker. Nobody wants this character. Uh, now you can understand the confusion. Last week's announcement of the previously unannounced Mandalorian and Grogu as the next Star Wars movie threw a wrench into everyone's assumption that the Ray New Jedi Order film would be the next one. However, that news merely shifted things around and has been and as has been demonstrated with this film and its numerous writers over the past People few years. People get fired? Yeah, the company seems to just want to take its time and make sure it gets no, everything it, right. You can't <laughs> They are constantly, constantly, you know, going through writers, showrunners, whatever, creative differences, creative Creative differences, creative differences. I mean, it has been a broken record with Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm. Creative differences. Obi-Wan, they had a script. They had completely threw it out because of creative differences and hired somebody else who gave us the layout, the little Leia show. The creative differences basically is just, you know, Kathleen Kennedy and crew. You know, wanting everything their way. I'm like, then just write it yourself, Kathleen. Call you know, just write what you want, and then call it. A, yeah, call it a day. Yeah, pretty much. Just write your own damn. Write your but own I'm damn like, the, nothing that they said is contradicted by this article. No, and now you get to the end of the the end of it here. To be fair, anyone can uh, can anyone say with 100 percent certainty that anything's coming out? Of course That's not. True. This is Star Wars. And if the last ten years have taught us anything, it's until the cameras start rolling, and sometimes not even then. Not everything that's announced ends up happening. Right. Actually, truth. More Star Wars projects have been canceled than have actually gone forward, or they've been yes. delayed indefinitely. I lost track of, I mean, honestly, the list of who hasn't been signed up for a Star Wars movie and got fucked over is shorter than the list that, if, uh, you know, uh, than the list of who have. Because they're, every time you turn around, there's some other big name, whatever, supposed to be doing a Star Wars film. And that goes for like a few months to a year. And then, yeah. oh, oh, nope. We're yep. changing it now. We're changing it. Yeah. So this is, uh, it's not, I don't know, guys. Um, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's not, it's not going to happen. They didn't say that, you know, that's it. I mean, nothing they said 
I don't know. I I I still say that they didn't they didn't disprove the other person's comment at all. No, I think it's going to be pushed back. If they're going to do this, I think they're going to push it back until they can actually get it right. Basically, Disney's going to take a good hard look at everything they're doing right now and be like, is this going to make us money or is it anti-money? Because we've been spending a lot of money, like billions of dollars on anti-money movies over the last couple of years. And we're a laughing stock now. And everybody's making jokes about how much money we're burning, we're wasting. Is a Ray movie actually a good idea? The answer is no. It's a terrible idea. It's a terrible idea. The only way this could work, I think, bringing the Ray character back, if you're hell-bent on staying with his continuity, is you do something that's a few years removed or a couple decades removed from the sequel trilogy, try to introduce some characters people actually like, and then bring old Ray into it like Obi-Wan and then kill her off in that movie. You have to kill her. You have to make her a, a bitch. Well, she already kind of was. You have to Grumpy make her likable. Because yeah. you have to make her opposite. You have to make then her character. You have to make her likable, then you have to kill her. Yeah, um, make her make her actually likable, and then then people would actually feel a little bad when you kill her. Or 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 do another movie that's just a few years later where she's you know teaching Finn how to be a Jedi. I'd watch that. No, I wouldn't watch that because why does she have to teach Finn how to be a Jedi? I think I think Luke Skywalker should have taught Finn how but to be a Jedi. But we can't undo that. They already killed him. His Force Ghost can come back and teach him and be like, you know what? Screw that bitch. I made the wrong call. I on made that the wrong one. call on that one, so I'm going to train you through the my the Force visions. And uh, step one, don't listen to anything she says. Listen to me. I That's... just think it's stupid. Like, I mean, <laughs> I love that little clip that was going around with the, the movie theater, and they're like, and it was funny to me because I was like, you just said that women didn't like Star Wars until now with Ray, and it was the part where she's going to say she's Ray Skywalker, and you could hear it's all like mostly women. Don't do it. Don't say it. No. Nope. Mm mm. And then she says it like no. Like, I thought women just all loved Ray, and thank God because of Ray, we have female representation in Star Wars that we never had before. Yeah, yeah, it didn't go very well. Uh, yeah, so Ray could have been a good character if they had done her right. So you lost the original Star Wars fandom, and you lost the Raylos. So why mm-hmm. would you? Why would you go back to the? Why the hell would you go back to Ray? I don't know. They want to lose more money, I guess. I don't know. Well, it's going to take a while because they keep going through directors and screenwriters. Oh, this say screenwriters like crazy and, and directors. Yeah. They just keep changing them every other. It's like underpants. I think they change directors and screenwriters more than they change their underwear. So there we go, guys. I can't wait for uh, the uh, middle-aged Ray action figures <laughs> you know, whenever we get this movie, right? Are we going to wrap this up? Mm-hmm. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants. Oh, there's Luke and... There's Luke and Darth right next to Oh, there you go. That was a couple of years ago. Luke and Darth are in there too. They're all they're all gone though. Actually, um, I've noticed that the uh, the Last Jedi figure is not selling. Has affected everything else. Like there's just like even Luke, even Ahsoka, all those figures are just rotting on the shelves. But this is not making as many too because they weren't Mm -hmm. able to move them. No play sets anymore. You don't get the big play sets anymore. Anyway, let's wrap this up. Please Mm -hmm. subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.